Once you have evaluated your patient's history and risk for dental problems, conduct an oral health assessment as part of their physical examination. Conducting an oral health assessment or screening helps to identify abnormalities. It is not intended to be diagnostic. If you suspect disease, refer the child to a dentist for diagnosis and treatment. Before doing an oral assessment or screening, explain to the child's parent or caregiver that you want to assess the health of the mouth. If you choose to conduct the screening using the knee-to-knee -knee position, describe how they can assist you in holding the child still when you lift the lip and examine the teeth, tongue, and gums. Make sure you have enough light to see into the mouth and have gloves and gauze squares available. The following video clip will demonstrate proper positioning for the oral exam. Proper positioning of the child will make oral assessment and fluoride varnish application easy to perform. The parent or caregiver should be seated in a chair holding the child face to face on their lap. With the child's legs placed on either side of the parent's waist, the adult's elbows can help stabilize any leg movement. With your knees very close to the parent or caregiver, the child is gently laid down on the table formed by your laps. The parent can assist by holding the child's hands during the assessment. The child's head should be directly in your lap, giving you good visibility from behind and above. If you prefer to use the exam table, work from above and behind the head as much as possible. Have the parent assist by standing opposite you. This will allow the parent to hold the child's arms and legs during the assessment and fluoride varnish application. Remember, lifting the lip and examining the entire tooth structures is important. Healthy teeth are translucent, white, and clean. White spots are signs of cavities in the making. They are often found adjacent to the gum line where plaque accumulates. The tooth surface is intact at this point, but demineralization has caused the enamel to look chalky. If caught early enough, the caries process can be stopped and reversed. Fluoride varnish application at this stage is particularly important. If left alone, the white spots will progress and, as the arrow indicates, the decay can break through the enamel, leaving a darker center. Fluoride varnish won't repair this lesion, but may slow the progression of decay. The child should be referred for treatment. When cavitation occurs, the surface is no longer intact. Brown spot lesions become evident. Again, fluoride varnish won't repair these lesions and referral is necessary. Cavities that have progressed to this point may require several appointments, possibly including sedation to repair the damage. Advanced or severe decay can affect the child's ability to eat, speak, and learn. What guidance can you